Hey, it's me, Mark, and uh, for this video, I am uh, feeling pretty lazy. See, uh, room's a mess, more evidence of laziness. But uh, for today's video, I wanted to uh, kind of just bring out a few of my sculptures and talk about them. Easy enough. Alright, first one, magic. Number three. <coughs> Ooh, at least I... Uh, Thank God, the first try. So you may recognize this from a past video. It's uh from the another Netflix Godzilla anime. I wonder why they do it with Netflix. Uh, but yeah, it's the the first appearance of the Rodan. At least that's why I modeled it after. And uh, I'm really proud of this one because I haven't dropped it yet. It's still cracked. Uh, yeah, look, just look at it. It's a pteranodon. What what else can I say? I like I like dinosaurs. That's look, look at the obsession right here. This is if you're watching this, you're probably fucking crazy like me. So even your cats stare you crazy. You're not crazy. <coughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm uh. If you haven't watched the video, basically with all my sculptures, start out with wire, make a little frame, like basically a little stick figure of, of whatever you want, uh, bulk it out with some aluminum to give it some, some mass, some thickness, girth, if you will. Girth. And then uh, finally you could throw the clay on it, add all the details you want. Uh, then uh, for this, polymer clay, all polymer clay, so threw it in the oven, and it's ready to paint, and you're done. Uh, for the base, it's uh, a little like two by four that I found in my backyard, front yard. Can't remember. Paint black on the bottom, uh, really watered down, gray on top. You have to really water down paint to paint this wood. Uh, See, so yeah, I think if I remember right, I used like an airbrush to do the the red coat over it, and then hand brush the rest. Yeah, anyways, I like tell my this the most memorable part about this one for me is that like it, I feel like I got it done really fast and I like how I made it feel like Rodan, like the thing I wanted it to look like, but also played very loosely and fast with with the details and and the form and the texture. Like right here, this this is just like one solid piece and. It, you don't need to know the details. My voice is dying. I don't need to keep talking. Uh, <coughs> sculpture number two. Uh, this is another one that I started way back in high school, I believe. And uh, recently, I uh, I had added arms, all the veins and stuff. Twine. What's it called? Roots. Roots. I'm in college. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the original plan was to have it like, uh, when I first started sculpting, I mainly, uh, focused on busts, so just like the head, and that was it, because that was really, uh, simple to me, that, that was like the basics, uh, and then like over the years, I slowly expanded on it, this thing was, for a while, was like garbage, because, uh, it had like no arms, the base was broken, there was no little wooden base either, uh, thankfully now it's in a lot better shape, and, uh, now I'm kind of a lot more hesitant to, uh, put in art sales and so on. But, uh, let's see. These are actually, a uh, foam clay. So, uh, I had someone who got me a bunch of foam clay, like, every, every holiday and birthday Christmas, and, uh, yeah, I, I use the crap out of that now, because it's, you don't have to worry about snapping off little thin things. And uh, this is... I don't know if you could tell, there's like a little metallics all over it. What else do I want to see? Uh, this took a few years to work on because uh, when I first started to get sculpting, I, uh, I'd i focus a lot on details, then form, and then more details. So, uh, when... Are you looking at your butt? Uh, but yeah, it's Godzilla Earth 
from the Netflix Godzilla. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like it, and I could definitely see why, but I feel like it has a few moments. Specifically with the music, I like the... I always like Godzilla music, honest. Honestly. <coughs> Lungs are dying, fuck. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, I know I made a video about this in the past. I, or, so a bit like last week's video. But uh, I uh, recently started doing uh, 3D scanning. So uh, right now I have a... Hopefully I can insert it here. Uh, a website where I'm putting my 3D models at. So, so far I have a Shin Godzilla skull. Uh, you guys saw me make a video about that before. Ooh. And then uh, I also... Man, I'm really making it hard to edit this. Uh, then I also have a Godzilla mille 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 Millennium Millennium bust right here. Uh, pretty soon you're going to start seeing these guys as little STL files that you can buy and print yourself. I will get around to... Uh, Man, my nose is still fucking clogged. Allergies or something. Uh, I will get around to uh, actually selling little 3D prints of these, but uh, I've, I've, I'm about to start another semester at a new college, and that's gonna we're, we're gonna see how busy I am. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just really proud of this one. Hope the camera saw the spat. Uh, let's bring in the next sculpture. Ooh, magic. Uh, sorry, my voice is going to die during this. I'm, uh, eh. Anyways. Yeah. Obviously, I drew, uh, drew, sculpted Reptar from the Rugrats. <laughs> uh, no, shits and giggles. Uh, this one was, like, one of my first, like, full-body Godzilla sculptures. And, uh, I got it in the... A gallery for my uh, community college I think like last year it's like one of my older sculptures nothing fell uh, I'll, I'll have photos floating around is it recording this time yeah okay just talking all right photos you done flying around what I wanted to say is Fun facts. Uh, this first started off as uh, I was sculpting a replacement head for one of the NECA Shin Godzillas. Uh, I used to sell little castings of alternate heads and then kind of stopped doing that because it's so much work. So I've been charging more and all that. Uh, but yeah, it just like most of uh, my sculptures, they start out with a wire and aluminum, slap the clay on it, sculpt every little detail, and pretty much done. Uh, something's off about this. I don't know what. I, I do like how the legs came out. This, what else to say? Fragile as fuck. <laughs> oh, what about some size comparison? Why not? Ta-da! Uh, let's see. So, when I was sculpting this, I, I didn't have a monster art, so I mainly used this guy's reference and my imagination. Uh, when I was going for it, I was trying to make it in scale with the monster arts line. So, I think I came pretty close. I feel like... I got some of the proportions off. Uh, also, for uh, scale, we could use a trusty uh, cat. Grab money. Ah, oh God. Uh, when I was sculpting it, I was trying to... Originally, I uh, made it so I could alternate the heads. One was going to be this open... Or... Regular mouth one. See the... And then I was going to have an alternate head with a split jaw. But uh, sculpting at this small... For me, this, this head is really small to sculpt at. Uh... I, I just couldn't do the split jaw effect. It, it kept breaking in the oven, and uh, that was it was just headache. So eventually, I just committed to the one head, and now we got this. I am thinking about sculpting another bigger Shin Godzilla. Right now, I'm making a video on 
They'll probably post before this. Here, let me show you. There, you got a teaser for the next video. That's half assing. <coughs> I feel like this is this is one of my personal. This is one of the sculptures that I uh, don't bring to uh, art sales because I kind of just keep it for the memories. Because uh, it felt so nice to have it finally completed after working on it for years. Because I'll usually uh, start something, abandon it for a few weeks, and then work on it again. Then before you know it, it's been a year or two or three, maybe four. I think I started the head back in high school. And I graduated high school like fucking five years ago. So, it, yeah, all these sculptures mean a lot. Uh, let's transition into the next one. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let, let's see all, all right here. Ta-da! All the three sculptures I want to talk about. Uh, I have like a shit ton more in that closet over there. Uh, so if you want to see like more sculptures I did made that I haven't really talked about in uh, this channel or just interested of, of more shit I made, I, I probably will make more videos about that eventually if this does well. <coughs> Death. Uh, also, I have like a huge collection right here. If any of these... <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Help. <coughs> oh, God. <sighs> yes, I am recorded. Uh, glasses broke. Uh, please like, subscribe this video. I need to feed my cat. Uh, what else? What else? Check out the website. Website. Pictures. Oh my god, it's so hard not to sneeze. Ooh. Ugh, man, I'm gonna try to like fucking live stream this next time.